How to use Google Calendar for booking appointments. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you are doing great. In this video I'll be talking about how to use Google Calendar to actually book your appointments for your services, live meetings, whatever it may be that you want to use bookings for. This is just going to make your life a lot easier because it's actually Google Calendar itself. You don't use, you don't really need to use any third party applications, none of that. Is simply you will need to use your Google Calendar and that's pretty much it. We will need to set things up and let's actually just get started. So we will need to go ahead, uh, open up our Google account, uh, sign in obviously, and then you will need to just open up your Google Calendar from the apps. And now we have our Google Calendar ready to go. Basically, what we can do here is that we can click on any day to get started uh, don't worry about it. We can just customize things later. But to get started, we will need to click on a day and a time just to set up an appointment. So we will need to click on any space. And here, obviously, the menu for adding events, tasks, and, uh, you know, this is what we are usually used to add, uh, now has a third option, which is a new one, which is going to be appointment schedule. Here, we can actually go ahead, just click on appointment schedule. And this is going to allow us to create our uh, appointment page and our appointments uh, and bookings. So basically, if you want, you can click on see how it works. And it's going to just show you a quick uh, overview of how this is going to work. But I'm just going to give it a title of uh, basically, you would want to name it something like the name of the actual service or have a meeting with me or whatever you really want to name it. I'm just going to do test uh, appointment. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on set up the schedule. Now here we are going to be setting up a few things. So the first thing is going to be obviously the name just with like we have uh, said, but next up we have the appointment duration. This is going to be the actual appointment. How long is it going to take to get um, the appointment done and ready to go for the next one is going to be one hour by default you can change it to be 30 minutes 45 minutes or even custom so it's going to be completely up to you the amount of time that you want to have for your for your appointments i'm going to set it up as 45 minutes for example and we are going to just move on to the next section which is a very important one which is going to be the general availability this is going to be uh, basically your schedule when it comes to the days that you want to work on and also the times that you want to work on obviously it's going to be the time um, that you're in the country that you're living in uh, this is going to be the time that's going to be showing uh, and it's going to calculate it differently if it's for someone who wants to book in a different country so do not worry about this uh, anyways we have the days of the week and we have the time period between them or the times so i'm just going to do sunday for example or actually i'm just going to remove let me just add this let me remove sunday let's start in monday so let's say we want to work in monday uh, starting from we want to change this to for example 10 a.m to let's say 2 p.m let's just do 2 2 30 for example and we want to also do, um, let's say Wednesday also, we want to click on the plus icon to be able to see it. And if you want to just copy the same time periods and Monday, you can just click on copy to all. And it's going to, going to be the same for the rest of the days that are available. So we can just basically go ahead at Tuesday, at Thursday, and this is all we are going to add and just copy to all. And you can see the time, uh, the times are going to be exactly the same. And we can also set up a few things differently. If you want, for example, the Thursday one to be different, you can just fully customize it to your liking if that's what you want. If you want to change a specific date rather than, you know, a day of the week, we can also do so. You just need to wait uh, and we will get to that option in a sec. So now we have set up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday for work and all of them have the same time as well. If you want to leave things out, you can just feel free to do so. If you want to remove them, you can also remove them in here. If you want to add another period to a specific day, you can always just click on the plus icon. For example, if you're going to be working two shifts, this is how it's going to basically work. 
Now we have the next option, which is going to be scheduling window. By the way, I forgot to mention for the general availability, you can choose whether you want to repeat it weekly. So if you want to have a still uh, appointment schedule, you can just repeat it weekly. And this is just going to be repeated basically. And if you want, you can just do it this, uh, that it is only a one time off. So you can just do it once and then maybe two weeks later, you just do it again. This is completely up to you and how you want to set things up. I'm just going to keep it as repeat weekly. And we're going to go to the next option, which is going to be the scheduling window. So basically, this is going to allow you to note whether you're available now or if you want to be available in a specific date. If you want to be available in a specific date, you can just click on the second one. And you can actually go ahead and set up the actual date that you are available in. Uh, here, you all can, you can also uh, set up the end if it's going to end uh, the time of where when you are available. You can also set that up. Uh, but for the time being, I'm just going to keep it as available now. And we can set up more stuff down here. This is going to be the maximum days that people can actually book you in advance. So generally, or the actual default is going to be 60 days. If you want it to be infinite into the future, so people can actually book you 100 days from now, you can just uncheck this, for example. But if you want to set up a maximum days, which I highly recommend, is that you check this and you just uh, change the actual uh, days. For example, a month later, this is no more than that. So I don't want to have someone who booked me to 2026. So now that you have set this up, we can also set up the time uh, before how many hours before can someone actually book uh, this is basically if you're okay with some people booking last minute or not this is completely going to be up to you and the type of business or the type of appointments that you are running so you can just keep it as four hours which is the default i think it's a fair amount um, so i'm just going to keep it as it is but if you want it to be much more you can also do so some people actually do 24 hours and not less so it depends on you and how you think it's going to affect you now let's say uh thursday uh, thursday which is going to be the sixth uh we want to set up the availability differently for that specific date we would want to go ahead and choose this option here the adjusted availability Cl click on it and then we would want to select the actual date so we will just go for thursday uh 6th and here we can actually go ahead and change the availability for that specific date. So I'm just going to remove it, but hopefully you understood this uh, option that you can actually add, which is very, very great. So for example, with this specific date, you have something, you're busy with a um, wedding or whatever it may be, you can just go ahead and change this so that you don't work or change the timing. Next up, we have the booked appointment settings. Here we have the buffer time, basically the time between one appointment and another. So this is just going to be a little break. So you can, you know, gather your thoughts and everything before you get started with the second appointment. This is going to be the buffer time. I think 30 minutes is fine. It depends on your appointments and what you actually do, but I'm just going to keep it as it is. And here you can see the maximum bookings per day, which is actually a very great option. So you can set up how many people can actually book you in one day. So if you don't want to go overboard, for example, seven people you think is a lot in a day, you can just go ahead and set up uh, things like five or six. Depends on what type of work you want to do and how many people you want that can be able to book you in one day. Here calendars, you'll be able to just go ahead and add more calendars if you have um, upgraded to uh, google one so you can do that if you want but generally speaking is going to be the actual calendar for your account and you can actually change the colors for the appointments here i'm just going to go for yellow why not never mind let's just go green okay so you can change that anyways next up we can just click on next and we have more settings here as well uh like your photo and name. This is going to be your Google photo and name. If you want to change it, you would want to go to the manage account. The location and conferencing here is basically how and where you want to meet, whether it's going to be a physical meeting or an actual uh, Google meeting. So you can set up Google Meet, uh, video conferencing, 
or in-person meeting, which you will need to specify a specific uh, location or phone call if you want. If you want to spe specify this later, you can also do so. So we can just set it up so that it is Google Meet for the time being. If you want to add a description that explains the service or explains a specific thing for your customers, then you can just feel free to add this in the description. For the booking form, this is going to be the things that people need to fill just to be able to book your appointments. So the ones that are included are just going to be the first name, last name, and email address. Those are going to be mandatory and required. If you want to add a special uh, or another item, you can just click on add an item. You can add a phone number or a custom item, and you can just add a question that you want to ask them basically, or something that you want to add for the form. Uh, and you can check whether it's a required form or not. And you can just click on add item and it's going to show up in here. This is for the booking form. And now we have the payments and cancellation policy. You need to set them up. I, I, I guess this is only for the premium. And then we have the booking confirmations uh, and reminders. Obviously, you just keep this as it is. I don't think you can even change it. Uh, but just keep it as it is and click on save. And now that this is saved, we can actually go ahead and see the appointments that we have just created. Where did they go? Hold on. Oh, I guess I just started in this date. Anyway, so you can find your appointments in here. And what we can do is just click on it. And here we will be able to open booking page if you want to see how it's going to look like. Uh, this is basically how it's going to look like these, these are the dates and times people can actually book you in. If you want to see exactly how others can see it, you can just click on that and it's just going to show them the time and period where they can book. And if you want to actually share this page and, you know, share it with your social media and whatever you want to share it so people can actually be able to book you, just click on any, uh, appointment and click on share and just copy the link or embed the um, code to your website completely up to you just copy link send it or embed the code and you should just share it with people and now when people actually enter that page they will be able to book your appointments and this is pretty much how to use google calendar for uh, booking appointments so i hope you found this video to be useful and helpful and i hope you liked this video and thanks for watching